first Australian Fibre Art Award, an initiative of Artware Publications based in Melbourne and hosted by Gallery 76, an integral part of the Embroiderers Guild of New South Wales. I'm the current president of the Guild, Valerie Laurie, and I would especially like to welcome Her Excellency, the Honourable Margaret Beasley, Governor of New South Wales, joint patron of the Embroiderers Guild New South Wales with Mr. Dennis Wilson. Linda Worthington from Artware Publications. The Australian Fibre Art Award judges, Re Natalenko, Denise Stevens and Liz Williamson. And by no means least, the exhibiting artists and friends. It's wonderful that we can all gather here from all parts of Australia, looking our best from the waist up, um, but rather than lamenting the opportunity for a hairdresser visit. Mm -hmm. There'll be no shortage fibre artists of long gray hair with colored tips by the end of October. I would like to acknowledge the Wongal people of the Eora Nation, who are the traditional custodians of this land. And I would like, like to pay my respects to their elders past, present and emerging. Artware considered that fibre artists needed recognition for creating their own works, beginning with fibres, natural or man-made. And I hope to make the Australian Fibre Art Award a biennial event. The works you'll see shortly on our virtual tour have been selected by the judges from a number of entries. These decisions were based on photos of the artworks and statements supplied by the artist. Each entry has been assessed according to the following criteria. Quality of composition and overall design, uniqueness of concept, origi originality and creativity, technical execution, choice of techniques to impart the message or idea, and overall impression. As well as being exhibited virtually at Gallery 76, these selected works will be part of a limited edition accompanying book, which Linda will explain more fully. You will also have the opportunity to purchase a unique piece of fiber art as all the works are for sale. There are three prizes to be awarded by Her Excellency this afternoon. The Gentle Roller Company Award for Excellence in Felt, the Highly Commended Award by the judges, and of course the main award the Australian Fibre Art Award. The judges were carefully selected and here's um, a rundown about them. Ria Natalinko is editor of Yarn Magazine. She's a passionate craftsperson and her repertoire includes felting, knitting, sewing, crochet, fabric painting, embroidery, spinning and weaving. Denise Stevens, although Denise is um, a scientist professionally, her creative outlet is in, in the textile arts, weaving, especially tapestry weaving, is Denise's focus. Liz Williamson is a weaver, academic and textile artist from Gadigal and Wongal lands and is no stranger to Gallery 76. Liz has over 40 years been fascinated by the process of weaving and has worked on numerous public collections. A little about your hosts this afternoon. The Embroiderers Guild New South Wales is a volunteer organisation with groups meeting in communities across Sydney and New South Wales, providing teaching and learning experiences about embroidery and textile art. These experiences are enhanced by our workshops, groups and January summer school. At 76 Queen Street Concord West, we have wonderful facilities, including our Gallery 76 historical collection, our extensive specialist library, our embroiderer's shop and our workrooms. We are thrilled to be hosting the first Australian Fibre Art Award. Um, I would like to introduce Her Excellency, the 39th Governor of New South Wales, who commenced this role in 2019. Her Excellency has enjoyed a long and distinguished career in law and has, was made companion of the Order of Australia in 2020 for her eminent service to the people of New South Wales, particularly through leadership roles in the judiciary and as a mentor for young women lawyers. Her Excellency is very committed to education, 
youth leadership, human rights and social justice. We wish you well, Your Excellency, as you continue in your role as governor and invite you to open the first Australian Fibre Art Award. Thank you, Val. Thank you for that introduction, but oh my goodness, what an introduction to this just wonderful award. That was one of the most moving presentations I think either Dennis and I uh, have, have ever seen. So, so beautifully done. Thank you. We, of course, joined you from Government House at Sydney, which is on Gadigal land, and we pay our respects to their elders past, present and emerging. And we are just more, we're almost gobsmacked actually, uh, but certainly more than delighted in ways that words really, I don't think, can properly convey to be part of this very, very special occasion and <coughs> to have the honour of officially opening the inaugural Australian Fibre Art Awards. As, as patrons of the Embroiderers Guild of New South Wales, we, we are really proud that the Guild is hosting these awards and exhibiting the works of these, these fine, fine works of the 25 finalists at that wonderful Gallery 76. I've been honoured to be vice-regal patron since uh, about 2019, but Dennis's connection with the Guild is much longer, uh, with friendships which were forged at Double High School, I won't say how many years ago, but I'll leave that out for the investing game. And if I may throw this in, there's nothing tokenish, tokenish about uh, Tennis's patronage of the Embroiderers Guild. He is a keen and he's a knowledgeable observer of all forms of art, and he's a deft hand at spinning, and he has sat here beside me this afternoon in awe of these wonderful creations. So we celebrate this afternoon the creativity and the skill of fibre artists with an award that was conceived and established in Melbourne, with artworks hung in its ex exhibition space here in Sydney, and entrance as well as today's online audience spread across the nation. So a warm welcome to each and every one of you. There's certainly a growing community interest in this art form, in textile arts, and that's first to be celebrated and promoted as a true art form. In April last year, uh, in the very much at the beginning of the pandemic, Liberty in London uh, reported an increase in sales of material that's required for this type of art form, an increase of about 380%. Uh, Spotlight and Lincraft struggle to maintain necessary supplies. You may remember that Tom Daly, the, um, the British Olympic diver, said he kept himself sane throughout the competition uh, with his knitting and his crocheting, and indeed all things stitching. And the Embroiderers Guild has enjoyed strong demand for their weekend online classes and through their virtual presence. And it's attracting new attendees and members from regional areas and interstate. And this expanded reach is good news, which sees this wonderful creative community growing in output and in friendship. And I would have to say in expertise and professionalism, this is the most stunning exhibition I think I've, we've seen for quite a while. Textile arts carries layers of history with it. Particularly poignant are remarkable examples of embroidery created by soldiers during and after the First World War as they endured and recovered from their physical and mental injuries. And many of these pieces are actually held and displayed in the Australian War Memorial in Canberra. This inaugural award has come at a challenging time of a different dimension, but challenging nonetheless. And I believe it was Benjamin Franklin who said, out of adversity comes opportunity. For us here today, two wonderful things have come out of the last 18 months. One has been the opportunity for our entrants to express their creative talents. The other, through these awards, is the opportunity to have our artist work showcased, appreciated and rewarded. I particularly want to thank Linda Worthington, the Director of Artway Publications for establishing these awards. Linda, in responding to what you're up in the right hand corner of my screen, Linda, wonderful to meet you. Thank you. In establishing these awards, you responded to what you saw as the limited opportunities for fibre artists 
uh, who have created something and in doing in creating these awards you have created something quite unique in Australia a national award which is all about fibre it's all about fibre artists and the use of fibre in wonderful creative forms April thank you for that online tour your curatorial skill in presenting the exhibition so beautifully is an artwork in itself. And in hanging this collection of so many diverse pieces, what you've done in the way you've hung them, is you've allowed the creativity of the artists to come to the fore. So the high standard of the works in this exhibition, I don't have to say it, it has given the judges the most unenviable of tasks. So thank you to this most experienced judging panel. And before we move to each award, because he's not a token patron, <laughs> he is an involved patron and indeed he's been able to engage with the Embroiderers Guild more frequently than I have. I think he would love to say just a couple of words if we may. Uh, thank you, thank you very much. The fact of the matter is that the Embroidery Guild in West Concord was my very first gig after the governor was sworn in. And as patron, I was delivered to the premises without really knowing what to expect. And as always, uh, I was once again so impressed by the dedication, the artistic merit the production of the works that were there on display. And as a consequence, my very great pleasure to be a joint patron uh, and to be in attendance at this award ceremony uh, is indeed profound. One thing that I have noticed is the use of the words fiber art. And indeed, fiber art may broadly be described as the use of a natural material. And in one sense, the artist can use the natural material to express that artist's own creativity and artistic talent. And in another sense, the artist can be seen as being the instrument of the natural material to allow that natural material to express its own inherent integral merit as a natural material. And indeed, in both of those senses, one has to deal with a new or newish art movement that has become relevant in the world, and that is the art movement called new materialism, which indeed is the use of natural material for the purposes of the expression of the inherent qualities of that material, to allow people to feel the emotion of that natural material in its context and its own contribution to the environment and the society we are living in. And indeed, I draw significant parallels between the use of fiber in fiber art and this art movement, which is yet another ism following upon expressionism, abstract expressionism, modernism, et cetera, et cetera, conceptualism, I, I, I see it as having a place for uh, fiber art uh, in, in its ambit. And indeed, uh, if I see that, then undoubtedly others do see it as well. And both the artist and the material are evident in this exhibition in a way that I must say I found creative, inventive, exciting, imaginative, and really quite wonderful. And so 
uh, may I say personally, congratulations, because it is such a wonderful art form. It's such a wonderful exhibition and you should be congratulating, be congratulated, I beg your pardon, for allowing it to develop in this society. And uh, so uh, uh, I've said enough of being given a few words. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> From a trip of air or of art, it, uh, it, it's really quite moving uh, you know, to the artists who, who are there. Can, can I say, as we sat here, you know, it was one of those uh, occasions where, where you do get <laughs> that old fashioned expression goosebumps, having watched it. And, you know, as much as we might like to wrap it all up in beautiful words, there's nothing better than goosebumps. As a, uh, I, I think as a viewer, nothing better than goosebumps. So that's what you have given us, you've given to our community extraordinary artwork. Thank you. Thank you so much. But of course, there are only three prizes, and out of these beautiful works, we have three winners. So the first, if I uh, may announce it, the first award, this is um, from the sponsor, the Gentle Roller Company Award. It is called the Gentle Roller Company Award for Excellence in Felt, and that goes to that artwork, and I was, I say I was looking for it as it moved around. Yellow Cocoon, Denise Lithgow. Congratulations, Denise. It's so beautiful. Hi, everyone. I'm going to jump in here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Denise. I, oh, I'm not mute, am I? Don't tell me that. Okay. Um, I'm just going to quickly bring you over to a second little look at the lovely piece by the always talented Denise Lithgow. So Yellow Cocoon is quite a large... This one actually could be hung or, or displayed on a plinth. We decided to go with the plinth, but um, yeah, the, the texture is just absolutely gorgeous. And I've had a few people already say, that would look really good in my house. So, you know, if, if that's one of you, um, please don't, don't hesitate to get in touch. But yeah, it's just, it's just stunning. So congratulations, Denise. Uh, we, we absolutely love your work. Um, I will hand back to you, uh, Your Excellency, for the next prize. It's, it's the tactile aspect of these works in addition to the creativity. I won't say anymore. I think I'd go on even longer than Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> now, the judges' highly commended award goes to Relic Series, What Lies Beneath My Breast. Joy Denise Scott. The Denises are, are winning today. Yeah. <laughs> um, so if I bring it you just over here, let me spin you around and I'll show you some gorgeous detail. This one's one for all the embroiderers out there as I fail to turn the camera on. There you go. So this is Relic Series, What Lies Beneath My Breast. And the embroidery, as I'm sure you saw on the video, is just incredible. It is a total labour of love and French knots um, with just, and I, it's embroidered on mulberry bark, which is, you know, what started the frame is, is mulberry bark, which is incredible. And yeah, the colours are just so lovely and so soft. Yeah, and it's an absolutely beautiful piece. So well done, uh, Joy. It's a gorgeous work and um, we love having your piece in the gallery. Uh, back to um, the governor for the final final prize. Drum roll. We got that going. <laughs> the inaugural Australian Fiber Art Award. And how's this? It starts with the title. Hope. This exquisite piece, so perfectly entitled for these times, Catherine O'Leary. Well done. How beautiful. Well done, Catherine. I, I absolutely loved your piece. I actually gasped when the box was opened. So I'm going to spin you around here and show you again the beautiful piece by Catherine. Um, obviously, this was one of a set, um, but Hope is the one on the right. 
So, although I should mention what I feel like I couldn't really capture in the video, on the left in isolation, there is a tiny little person inside with a shovel. Can you see that? Digging into, anyway, most incredible, could not capture it on film, but just so you all know, there's this most incredible detail in Catherine's work. And it's just the most stunning sculpture. Um, as I'm sure you can see, the colors are really complementary, and the felt is almost, and can Catherine, I'll be asking many questions. It's almost burned through with this sort of um, like scorch marks going through the material, um, which creates this gorgeous 3D effect. And you can see through it to the other side. So the light comes through and it's just a beautiful, beautiful piece. And so yeah, huge congratulations to Catherine. Um, with all the artists, we love having your your work here, but just congratulations to you. So um, I'm going to hand um, back to uh, Valerie briefly, I believe. Well, thanks April, but I think I might have jumped the queue there because oh. I think we're hearing from Linda. Excellent, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Thank you, thank you April. <laughs> and thank you Your Excellency for opening the inaugural Australian Fibre Art Award exhibition and oh, announcing yeah. the award and the other prize winners. Thank you also to April and the Embroiderers Guild New South Wales for hosting this exhibition. It's looking wonderful at Gallery 76 in somewhat trying times. Congratulations to our winners. We have a certificate for each of you, which we will get properly printed off and sent to you once we are out of our hard lockdown here in Melbourne. Your actual prize will be sent much sooner. <laughs> Our judges, Ree Natalenko, Denise Stevens, and Liz Williamson performed their duties in what was definitely unusual circumstances. They were aided by April, who took short videos of each juried piece in place so that they could see each artwork almost as if they were there in person. The judging was not finalized until the works had been viewed in their display position. I have a small gift of appreciation for each judge which will be in the mail, as they say. <laughs> Thank you also to Philip at Gentle Roller Company for sponsoring and judging the special excellence in Felt Prize. Uh, viewers of the Australian Fibre Art Award exhibition are invited to vote for their personal favourite. To do this, please enter your choice, one choice per person, to the girls at artwarepublications.com.au. Include the reason that you chose the artwork and voting will close at 2 p.m. Melbourne time on the 3rd of October. That corresponds with when the real exhibition would be closing. Um, as a permanent record of the exhibited artworks, we have also published a limited edition book, the Australian Fiverr Art Award 2021. In this book, there is a photo of each artwork in full, plus a close-up view at full page size, along with artist statements and bios, plus information about and artwork by our three esteemed judges. The book may be ordered via australianfibreartaward.com.au. The link will be live after this virtual opening. So I hope you go and have a look at it. Now, I'm pleased to hand back over to Val, the Guild's president. Thank you very much, Linda. Well, congratulations to the winners and to all the fibre artists that contributed to make that beautiful exhibition that we've just seen. Um, thanks everyone for coming along to the first inaugural online exhibition run by the Embroiderers Guild of New South Wales. Thank you to your excellency for opening the event so wonderfully and for Mr. Dennis Wilson to do a return gig at the Guild. Thanks Dennis. <laughs> Um, we really, the Guild really appreciates the support that you've both given us um, uh, for our volunteer organisation. Thanks to Linda um, from Artware Publications for selecting our venue, real and virtual, to hold the first Australian Fiber Art Awards. Thank you to April for organising the exhibition um, and the online opening event this afternoon with the help of her special partner, Patrick. Um, and thanks for the wonderful virtual tour, it was great. Um, you've all had the opportunity to briefly view the works 
and the virtual tour will be available on our, on our YouTube channel for you to contemplate and perhaps purchase one of the works directly through the Guild. The contact details will be in the group chat. We look forward to the time that we can welcome you all to 76 Queen Street, Concord West for the real, real experience as opposed to the real virtual experience. Um, um, all the members would like to wish you a very happy evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Val. And thanks, everyone, for coming along to the, um, the online exhibition opening. So as Val mentioned, if anyone would like to purchase one of these pieces, I saw a question in the comments, please get in touch with me. Uh, my email is galleries at embroiderersguildnsw.org.au or you can call the office during office hours uh, and we'd love to, uh, to hook you up as they say. Um, I'd like to add my um, thanks to Her Excellency and uh, Mr. Dennis Wilson. We loved having you back in a virtual sense and thank you so much for your, your kind words about uh, all the, the work here. So thank you everyone and enjoy your evenings. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful exhibition.